Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome back to my studio known as The Basement Dino Dungeon. So today we will take a look at a box of sea animals that actually contains a very cool booklet of information, okay? So let's go. Okay, so this is basically a box of marine mammals. It doesn't have any brand, which is awesome because YouTube doesn't like us to promote different brands. So this is basically like a generic box of um, sea animal figurines. So let's take a look at them. Let's open this box up. It comes with a very, very beautiful book of um, information. So we will take a look at this. Okay, so the figures are all inside. I think they all look super amazing. So let's flip this book open and see what is the first um, figure that we should take a look at. The first one is actually known as the Commerson's Dolphin. Okay, so let's see which one is actually the Commerson's Dolphin. It seems to be a huge dolphin with, um, you know, a huge pot in um, white. So let's see. Is this the one? I don't think so. This one looks more like a Pacific white sort of dolphin. I think these two are the Commerson's Dolphin. Okay, so let's have a look at this. Let's do a zoom in on this. On this dolphin right over here. Yeah, it looks very nice, very adorable. So let me put this right over here. Let's read some facts about this, okay? So let's see. So it basically says that um the size is about 1.3 to 1.7 meters long, okay? It's not like super big. And it weighs about 35 to 60 kilograms, which is roughly the weight of um um, a kid or maybe to um, a light adult, okay? Distribution in South America, Indian Ocean, habitat around the sea coast. Awesome stuff, okay? So it fits on diets, it fits on streams, squids, and small fish. Very nice. Commerson's Dolphin, okay? Gonna put the Commerson's Dolphin right over here, okay? They look amazing. Next one is actually the um, Pacific White Sided Dolphin. Let's see how many of them we actually have in this set. I think this one is the one, Pacific White Sided Dolphin. Seems like we only have one, just to make sure that this one is not. Yep, so we only have one Pacific White Sided Dolphin. The size is actually bigger, 1.7 to 2.4 meters long, and it weighs about 150 to 200 kilograms, which is way um, heavier than um, the Commerson's Dolphin. Okay, it is distributed along temperate seas in North Pacific Ocean and its surroundings. Dived small fishes and squids. Very nice. Okay, Pacific White Sided Dolphin. Let's put this right over here. It's a very, very small figure, I must say, but they look amazing. Next, let's see what else we've got. Um, a bottlenose dolphin, uh, which is one of the most commonly known dolphins. So I think we only have one. Okay, bottlenose dolphin in the box. Let's see. Yep, we only have one. So this is basically the um, bottlenose dolphin. Let's see. 1.9 to 4 meters long. Wow, that is actually very, very long. 150 to 650 kilograms. That is actually quite heavy. Um. It fits on small fishes and squids. It can be found in open coastal region to large inlet estuary. What's that? Oceanic region. Okay. Cool. Awesome stuff. Yes, yeah, a large species of dolphins. They are often seen in aquariums. They are relatively easy to keep and train. They're very active and they can jump high in the air or ride waves made by ships or whales. Females have a baby in every two to three years very nice all right next up let's see what else we've got beluga do we have a beluga oh my goodness i think the beluga was accidentally left at um you know my other box so i think that's that's fine so we'll leave that one out so let's have a look at the next um sea animal cooler wheel i don't think we have the cooler wheel here as well guys i basically put it in um, another box as well so i think that is okay blue wheel Oh, we didn't bring a blue whale as well. Probably not. Okay, I, I beg your pardon, guys. Okay, we can proceed on to the next one, which is the um, dugong. Do we have the dugong? I think we should have the dugong. Maybe not. We have left so many, um, you know, minifigures in our box. 
So, but we have actually brought the uh, manatee here. So, this is basically um, the manatee. They can be found in shallow waters and coastal region, estuaries, rivers, and lakes. They feed on aquatic plants and mangrove leaves. They reproduce once in two years, about one baby only. Okay? Wow, the weight, if you take a look at this, 350 kilograms to 1,600. So, that is very, very heavy, guys. 2.5 to 4 meters long. Awesome stuff. Next, we have a, um, what is this? Um, okay, we have a sea auto. So let's try to find a sea auto. Why do we have like so many missing um, sea animals? Okay, this is another one, sea auto. Okay, we do have two baby sea autos. No, no, I don't think they're babies. They are quite fully grown, I think. They're not heavy. They weigh about 15 to 45 kilograms, okay, and the size is about 1.2 to 1.5 meters long. Awesome stuff. They can be found in coastal regions and they feed on crustaceans, shells, sea urchins. They also feed on fish, okay? So in Singapore, which is a country I'm living in, they go around attacking, you know, koi fishes. Yeah, I'm not kidding you. Spotted seal, okay, this is the spotted seal. You can see there's like plenty of spots on his body. Very, very adorable looking. Um, they weigh about 70 to 130 kilograms and they can be found um, in um, Japan. Oscar Sea, Bering Sea, Yellow Sea, around Hokkaido in Japanese waters. Habitat, fast ice, drift ice, coastal reefs, and small islands they fit on the small fish and large planktons awesome stuff let's see what else we got california sea lion and stellar sea lion so we can actually um, have a look at this this is um basically stellar sea lion let's get the um california sea lion out another you know stellar sea lion over here so we have two of them we also have um two california sea lion so let's see what is written right here. Okay, they are about 2.4 meters long. They live on, um, you know, the habitat is basically coastal reefs and small islands. Uh, they feed on small to medium fish, squids, and octopus. And they reproduce, you know, around May, May to June in Mexico and California, one baby each time. Awesome stuff. Okay, next up. Oh, this is basically the spotted seal. We have two of them. I didn't notice it. Okay, the next one is actually the stellar sea lion. Stellar sea lion, okay, which is right over here. Let's see what is written right here. Yeah, about 3.3 meters long and about, or uh, wow, it's very heavy. 270 to 1,000 kilograms. That is, that is actually very, very um, heavy. They live in coastal reefs, sea coasts, and isolated lion, um, islands. They feed on fish, squids, octopuses, and crustaceans. Nice. And um, our last animal is actually the walrus, which is right over here, okay? So let's read some facts about the walrus. Let's read this. Walrus has a thick layer of blubble, about 10 cm. Wow, that is actually quite thick under the skin, which is tough and thick with many wrinkles and folds. Mature males and females have two launch tusks that are transformed from dog tooth on upper jaw. They use their tusks when they dig into the seafloor, searching for shells and climb on the ice. So they use their tusks to actually help themselves to climb up on ice and also to anchor themselves to the seafloors. Except for breeding season, females and males make a group separately. Awesome stuff, okay? So this is basically a, um, a collection of um, you know, mini sea animal figurines. I think this is a very awesome set. Yep. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching this video. Hopefully you guys, you know, enjoyed this video. And um, yeah, stay tuned for more. I'll be coming out with more videos really soon. Um, I'm purchasing more and more like sea animals and any um, other animal figurines. So stay tuned for more. Make sure you subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.